The Kenya Film and Classification Board KFCB, will not crack down on rapper King Kaka over his waging a Nyanil masterpiece that on Saturday, December 14 offered a rare commentary on corruption and other vices bedeviling Kenya. According to KFCB boss Dr. Ezekiel Mutua, King Kaka enjoys the fruits of Kenya's growing and vibrant democracy that he said are not hanging low in neighboring Uganda and Rwanda. Dr. Mutua, instead, urged Kenyans to reflect on the message in the poetic piece that has rattled the political class and pricked the conscience of the nation. He further directed those affected to seek redress in court as KFCB will not interfere with Waging a Nyanyi's production. King Kaka's Waging a Nyanyi new release is evidence that we are a free country. He has used his creative license to prick our conscience. Anyone defamed can seek legal redress, but as a board, we will not interfere with the production. Let people reflect on the message, but the fact that the rapper can do such production and walk scot-free is evidence that our democracy has come of age. Try that in Uganda or Rwanda and things will be different. He stated on Facebook. A nod for the self-styled Swahili Shakespeare who had hours earlier asked for protection following pressure from unnamed quarters. A threat he had foreseen and cemented in the song, Wake in a night to night synergy and Nick Waninai. Nitak you fear what a me siogopi mimi. In waging a nyi King Kaka fiercely calls out Kenyans and uncompromisingly highlights their perceived stupidity and hypocrisy when dealing with pertinent issues fracturing the society. A position supported by alliance of real change party leader Mlam Muhammad Abduba Dida. Kenya has about 50 million citizens and less than 2,000 elective positions. Ironically, when Kenyans get the opportunity to vote, they always pick the worst possible choices then spend the following five years crying. Hash waging a nyanyil is a good piece of activist art. Thank you. Wavani Nditi was, however, not having it and through her press team accused King Kaka of character assassination. King Kaka must be called out, you cannot abuse elected leaders simply because you want to seek relevance, we must draw the line on content creation. You can actually pass your message without dragging anyone disrespectfully, tweeted the former Kathiani MP.